I'm Jake Wessels. I'm a junior Timberline right now, and I love playing basketball and uh, swimming. So when I was born, the doctor saw that I had a defect in my BSD, and at first they thought it was going to be okay and that my heart would naturally repair itself. But sadly, that wasn't the case, and by the time I was three years old, they realized that I had to have a uh, heart surgery, or else I would need a full heart lung transplant. Oh, it was really scary. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jake was born with these big, beautiful blue eyes and tons of energy and he's an amazing little boy. Um, and within a very short period of time, the very next morning, uh, we had a, cardi a pediatric cardiologist in our room and she was describing um, a, a hole that was high in the heart chamber between the, the ventricles and the problem uh, was that the blood flow was going in the opposite direction of what it's supposed to. It's always in the back of your mind. Of course, you don't you want to treat him a little differently, more fragile, but then you're like, you know what, he's a kid, he's going to do and you know help what boys do. And so you played with him, and, but it, always, it was always in the back of your mind going, are these things healing or not? And, but of course, we always had you know, checkups, I think yearly, if not every six months or so those first early stages and so you're always you know hoping and praying that they are healing on them on themselves yeah by the time he was coming up on his third birthday we had you know Appointment with this cardiologist, and she said, "This this needs fixed. It's not healing itself. And if we don't fix it, you know, he could have catastrophic health problems." We would take him in to see the cardiologist, and Dr. Eloisa Walker, who's his uh, cardiologist here in Boise, was really good with him. But that particular day, when she walked back in the room after his echo and um, all of these different tests that they do every year. Uh, she said, um, I don't like what I hear. Uh, we, she, basically, she said, we are, we are now being pushed to surgery. How he was healing his heart is no longer, is no longer beneficial, it's detrimental. And We just, you know, I, like I said, just, we just knew that there was no other option. This is what we had to do. Um, so we just, again, put our faith in the doctors and they knew what they were doing and that's all you can do. <laughs> I think the, the biggest thing I remember is just handing him over to the doctors when I came to get him. But it was really hard. Since the day Jake was born, I was just praying for him to be able to run and play with his, you know, with his friends and not have any limitations. And and he was doing really good in making that happen for years. And then it didn't, it wasn't gonna turn out that way and we were gonna to have to go to surgery. So um, we did a lot of research, we did a lot of uh, uh, reading into this and it's, it's not uncommon, it's frankly, like I mentioned, really common. But when it's your kid, it's a big deal. My good friend, Curious George, he got me through that surgery. Uh, the uh, doctors were able to use this as a little, something to comfort me during the surgery. And they told me that Curious George had a surgery just like me. And uh, they pretended that he had like the line down his chest too. And it just kind of got me through it knowing that someone else had it too. And I was hopefully gonna be okay. I would like to do something in healthcare, and specifically probably helping out kids and stuff, and just pursuing them to live a healthy lifestyle and helping them out with their if they're sick or they just need some help uh, health wise. Well, the doctor Stitsi who did the surgery, I just want to thank him to the man in back. He gave me an athletic ability. He gave me just an ability to be 
like it just to run around and play with all my friends and my peers and kids and not be held back when it comes to like sports and stuff, one of my favorite things to do. I want to thank Dr. Walker for providing me with some sense of confidence heading into the surgery that I'll be okay and for helping me afterwards. My parents for supporting me through it and um, you know, really telling me that it will be, it might be scary, but it'll be all right because they're right there being my guardians. And I want to thank the American Heart Association for their donations to different research activities involved with conditions like mine. And because I know it's a very common condition and with their support and their donations, uh, professionals can get the training that they need to help children out.